Oh, hello there. I'm just making Stud City bigger and better. What is up everybody, Stud City here, and we're gonna do a small city update because, ooh, we got another foldable table. We're gonna be adding to the Lego City. So take a good look at it, because this, is going to change significantly. So stay tuned for that. If you're interested in that, definitely stick around. I'm gonna be uh, reorganizing the city, uh, moving it. I kinda wanna bring it off the wall so I can work behind the city and uh, have some big plans for this project. So stay tuned guys. This video is gonna cover a lot of that and a lot of major planning as well as the renovations. Of course, before we continue, smash that like button. Okay guys, <laughs> we are officially done moving the tables and I kind of sweep the floor. It was pretty disgusting. It's still absolutely disgusting uh, in here, but uh, it's sweeped and mopped. Uh, but here we have a layout of the city. So it's actually, we moved up to four tables now. Uh, starting over here, again, I'm subject to change all the layouts. So anything you see laid down is just from the prior city we had. And we're just totally, totally reconstructing. Uh, two tables long, long jaded right here. So the long wise, uh, that comes out to I believe, probably well over 12 foot. Yeah. Maybe a little bit over 12 foot. If that makes sense. And then we've got two tables back to pack over here. So it should be like maybe six foot wide by uh, another 12 foot. Not too bad guys. Let me know what you think so far. I'm at a loss of words. I'm figured I'd record <laughs> some of the process cause I don't know what to do next. I don't know what I want. Of course, I want to add a Ninjago City with our downtown uh, somewhere else, but we'll see. Just when you thought this video was getting dry, we got an unboxing. <laughs> uh, actually, I ran out of train track, so uh, I had a box upstairs, and I actually don't care about this box because I will be tossing it. So I don't really need this. Uh, pretty pointless to say. So in this instance, I am going to throw the box out, but uh, we needed some train track, so... Boom, there we go. Eight more straight tracks. I've actually had these sealed for probably a year now. I've never, I never opened it because I never needed it. Uh, but that's changed today because uh, we're, we're out of train tracks and we just need more train tracks. So I'm actually gonna have to buy some more, uh, hopefully this weekend. Uh, I'll, guys, I'll let you guys know, but let's add these in. Hey guys, let's do a loop of the train, essentially. So we got a horizon chugging along. Not too bad. It increases it. I don't know. It's going to be hard to hear me because this train's so loud. Add that to the fails. <laughs> Oops. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed that epic crash. <laughs> uh, the table's a little offset. You can even see. I didn't even put the wheels back on properly. So let's go ahead and do that. But I hope you enjoyed that epic crash in this corner. Uh, essentially, the table is not all the way back. So I have room to put a base plate so I can get three three base plates across. Uh, but here we go. <laughs> this is essentially the layout. Take two. Oh, boy. I don't know what we just hit. <laughs> but the layout is significantly bigger, right? Let's see this from a better angle. Uh, our main train is gonna have so much more ground to cover. And it's actually pretty awesome. Uh, again, the city is an absolute mess. Uh, and you can see I used uh, these cringe tracks over here. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to order some straights and uh, get those replaced. And then work on the train yard for more straights as well. I have to get the city back together and start Ninjago City. But I'm just happy to see we have a train that has a bigger loop. I think it's awesome. So now essentially we could probably have two trains running at all times because there's just way more track to cover. And I like that. I like having more trains and I uh, wouldn't even mind a third one here in the future <laughs> or, or another table. But not too bad, guys. We officially kind of took all the road work off. 
uh, kind of have the modulars in a hodgepodge because I'm trying to get a layout for them. Still deciding. I just finally moved everything so I could kind of fiddle with them and get it to where I like it. I don't know if I want to group them together, kind of do like a wrap around. I don't know yet. Uh, but the other plan on this side is to kind of have Ninjago City, maybe because it's probably going to take like five base plates in length. Uh, maybe this section right here and have like a little water section. Uh, and then this side is going to be kind of our uh, small train yard. So we'll have one train parked here and then we'll have a Maersk parked there. So we'll have access to trains. I think that's going to be quite convenient and we can make like some green trees that are going to be surrounding it. Not too bad though. I think it's a good idea. I obviously need more green base plates because I'm already out. Uh, I bought six of them last week and that only covered this small section. So that's a uh, lot more base plates are going to be needed. But overall, this is where we are. I'm going to continue to work on it and I will be with you guys in just a moment. Okay, I have a solution for layout number one so we can do a quick walkthrough and let's get some opinions in the comments on what we think. So I did leave the train station. Uh, I am not opposed to changing it up. I'm not too sure. Essentially, I could move it to this side over here up front. That would require a lot of work peeling off all the track and stuff, but I'm not opposed to doing so just to give it a different look and kind of open up this section as the front view of the city. But anyways, uh, we have a central loop of modulars uh, with base plates uh, for road all the way up front and behind them so we can actually take a full walk around now and kind of see what's going on uh, so this would be the middle street here of course it's blank because i'm not sure what i'm doing yet uh here's the back of the modulars uh, you may notice there's room in the back for a whole nother base plate with a little bit of overhang uh, that's not a big worry to me i think it'll be just fine i guess i could always shift the whole thing just a little bit off and have the train station just barely hanging off just a little bit off the table uh, but that's really not a problem or again i can just separate the tables a little bit just to get that more balanced but yeah uh i would leave this scene like behind the modulars just for little creative scenes uh for future planning i guess we could be thinking about it like that uh we had a break here in the buildings because the corners uh, we had corner garage and the palace cinema we see the back sides and the break and kind of, I'll probably create a crossroad if we do leave the city like this. And then over here is just kind of open, <laughs> open cityness, right? Uh, so that has a big need for renovations. Uh, again, I was going to do Ninjago City maybe across this back portion. Uh, maybe like start showing water going into Ninjago City. And we have the gardens, we have the city that's being built on our live streams. And then we also have the net docks that needs to be built. So that's future planning. And the two things we didn't incorporate are for the daily bugle, <laughs> daily bugle and our, our skyscraper mock, which is going to get placed in the city, not anytime soon, but uh, hopefully work towards that. So those are two things we do have to keep in mind. Okay, guys, my other su suggestion is we have one, two, three, four base plates wide to work with. So I was thinking maybe we could do modulars back to back. So essentially take all these, kind of put them back to back and do kind of like a wrap around. Obviously the orientation would be different. Uh, but then from looking at the city from this point of view, I guess we wouldn't see, you know, two rows of mod modulars. It would just be one clump of modulars. That's my other option I can do. Or I could do like four modulars, right? Uh, with the, the streets on the outside. And then a break, and then another four modulars or six modulars, uh, whatever will do so. Oh, but that's another idea. I might test that out. So I don't have a chair to sit on and do kind of my outro, but if you made it to the very end, I thank you so much. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up uh, and stay tuned as I'm going to be working on this progressively over the next couple of weeks because we do have a lot of work. But I hope you enjoyed the changes and saw come up some of what it took to change my Lego city. It was an absolute nightmare and took me probably a total of 12 hours uh, persistently. Uh, but it was super fun and I can't wait to keep working on this in the future. And of course, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video. Stud City, out.